Welcome to Candyland. Candyland is a magical place. The trees are made of lollipops. The rivers are made of chocolate. The mountains are made of gumdrops. Everything is sweet and delicious. Don't you wish you could go to Candyland? It would be a wonderful adventure. You could eat your way through the whole place. But be careful. There are some tricky things in Candyland too. You might have to climb a mountain of gumdrops. You might have to cross a river of chocolate. Would you be brave enough to go on an adventure to Candyland? Timmy and Sarah were two friends who loved candy. They loved lollipops and chocolate bars. They loved gumdrops and marshmallows. One day they were playing in the park. They were bored. I wish we could go on an adventure. Me too. I wish we could go to Candyland. Suddenly, a big purple bubble appeared in front of them. It was a magical bubble. It floated right in front of their faces. What's that? I don't know. Let's touch it. The bubble popped. It whisked Timmy and Sarah away. When they opened their eyes, they were in Candyland. Wow, we're in Candyland! There were lollipop trees all around them, a chocolate river flowed nearby, and in the distance they saw the gumdrop mountains. Let's climb the mountains! The gumdrop mountains were tall and steep, but Timmy and Sarah were determined to climb them. They found some licorice ropes. They used the ropes to help them climb. It was a hard climb, but they finally reached the top. From the top of the gumdrop mountains, Timmy and Sarah could see the whole of Candyland. They could see the lollipop forests and the marshmallow meadows stretching out as far as the eye could see. And they could see the chocolate river, a shimmering ribbon of sweetness flowing down from the mountains, winding its way through the entire land. Let's go for a swim in the river. It looks so delicious and fun. They slid down the other side of the mountain on their marshmallow sleds, giggling all the way. They landed right next to the chocolate river. The river was flowing fast with swirls of dark and milk chocolate. It was too dangerous to swim in, and the current was strong. What do we do now? We can't swim in this. Luckily, they found a marshmallow boat tied to a candy cane on the riverbank. They climbed into the boat, their hearts racing with excitement. They used their licorice ropes as oars, paddling carefully to avoid the strong currents. This is fun! We're floating on a river of chocolate, and it's like a dream come true! The chocolate river carried Timmy and Sarah for a long way. They marveled at the rich, flowing chocolate and the sweet aroma that filled the air. It was like a dream come true for any candy lover. Finally, after what seemed like an endless journey, they came to a marshmallow maze. The entrance was grand and inviting, with towering marshmallow walls that seemed to stretch endlessly into the sky. The walls of the maze were made of giant marshmallows. They were soft, squishy, and looked delicious enough to eat. Timmy and Sarah couldn't resist touching them. We have to go through this maze. It's the only way to reach our destination. The candy castle is on the other side. We must find our way through to get there. They climbed out of the boat and entered the maze. The path ahead was winding and mysterious, filled with twists and turns. The maze was very confusing. They kept getting lost. They walked and walked, turning corners and retracing their steps, but it seemed like they were going in circles, but they couldn't find their way out. Every path looked the same, and the towering marshmallow walls were disorienting. I'm tired of this maze. It's never ending and exhausting. Just then, they met a friendly gummy bear. He had a cheerful smile and seemed eager to help. He was carrying a bag of candy cane markers. These markers were bright and colorful, perfect for marking their path. Here you go. Use these to mark your path. They will help you find your way and ensure you don't get lost again. Then you won't get lost. With renewed hope, Timmy and Sarah took the markers and began their journey through the maze once more, confident they would reach the candy castle. Timmy and Sarah thanked the gummy bear for his help. He had guided them through the initial part of their journey. They took the candy cane markers, which were not just ordinary markers, but magical ones that glowed in the dark. They dropped a marker every time they turned a corner, ensuring they wouldn't get lost in the intricate maze. That way, they could find their way back again if needed, as the maze was full of twists and turns. Finally, after what seemed like hours of navigating, they reached the center of the maze. There, in the middle, was the candy castle, standing tall and majestic. It was the biggest, most beautiful castle they had ever seen, with towers that seemed to touch the sky. The castle was made entirely of candy, from the foundation to the highest spire. The roof was made of gingerbread tiles, each one perfectly baked and decorated. 
The windows were made of sugar glass, sparkling in the sunlight like precious gems. And the door was a giant chocolate bar, inviting and delicious looking. A jolly man with a crown on his head stood in front of them, his eyes twinkling with kindness. He was the Candy King, ruler of this sweet and magical land. Welcome to my candy castle, he exclaimed with a warm smile. You have done well to get here. Many have tried, but few have succeeded. Come inside and celebrate with me. There are many wonders to behold and treats to enjoy. Timmy and Sarah followed the Candy King into the castle, their hearts filled with excitement and wonder. Inside, they found tables laden with every kind of candy imaginable. They ate all the candy they could possibly want. They had a wonderful time exploring the castle, meeting new friends, and enjoying the magical world of candy. The end.